Hi ladies, so as you know we are doing a full face review of e.l.f. Cosmetics. I have been looking forward to doing this for donkeys. Since e.l.f. came out I've been like right I need to do an e.l.f. Re full face review because I need to know what the products are like. They're cruelty free and they're vegan so they just tick both of my boxes. Um, and so here we are, we've landed. The bitch has landed. <laughs> Um, I've got 15 items because in Superdrug at the moment it's three for two on all e.l.f. cosmetics. So bonus. The staff were so lovely. I was like loaded up with these e.l.f. products and the manager came over and said, would you like a basket, madam? And I was like, yes, please. This is quite embarrassing. So super excited about doing this. I'm literally going to go through from, that's my son. Son, can you buzz off for five minutes? So rude. So I obviously didn't get any childcare for today, so I've told them to sit in the other room and uh, watch the B movie. So I've got about an hour and 20 minutes to do this. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna take you through exactly um, how I would do normally do a full face of makeup, but only using e.l.f. cosmetics. The only, cos the only products I'm not using, which is not e.l.f., is I've used a toner by Naobe, which is again, cruelty free and um, vegan. Um, and I also have used a moisturizing cream called Pure, which again, is vegan and cruelty free. So those are the end products that are not e.l.f. in today's full face review. Right, without further ado, I am going to take off my makeup. I'm gonna cleanse, tone, moisturize, and you are gonna see me in my wonderful plain glory. Okay, so let's switch to VT. Hey you guys, so I'm back. I have taken all my makeup off. This is me. Isn't that a song? Um, and I'm oh, honestly, this is the mo this is the best thing for doing a full face of makeup, even doing a, a nice little mini facial. It's so soft. You, I I bought this from my Primark haul um, in one of my previous videos, and it is honestly my best friend. So I'd, I'd happily wear this at night to <laughs> help me sleep. I wear a blindfold anyway, so probably wearing this wouldn't make any difference. Just keep the noise out. Right, anyway, so I've cleansed, I've toned, I've moisturized. This is the moisturizer that I use at the moment. It's by a company called Pure. It is natural and vegan and effective. So I would super, super recommend that. It's an SPF 15, that's all I really want. What I really, really want. And um, again, it's vegan cruelty free. Um, right, so I'm gonna go through my uh, makeup as if I was doing it with the products that I usually use. I'm sure after using some of these products, these will become my key items on a daily basis anyway. So I'm really excited to maybe discover some pieces that I really, really like. So first off, as I've moisturized, it's had a few minutes to sink into the skin. I'm going to start off with this Luminous Primer Putty. This is new. For e.l.f., it's in the uh, new selection on their website. I'll link everything down below anyway as I use it. So it's a luminous putty primer. Never used a putty primer. <laughs> putty primer. Um, I normally just use a liquid or a spray. So let's give this a go. Okay, yeah, so I just take a little bit out. I do like my primers. Do you know what? I never ever used to be a primer girl. I love primers now. So I just rub it in as if I was doing my um, um, my moisturizer and just apply it to the whole face, especially where, oh, I think around the eyes, around the nose, the little fine lines that we get as we get older above our lips. Ooh. Do you know what? This is lovely. It doesn't really have a fragrance. Um, I suppose it is slightly luminous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I like that a lot, wherever I put it. There's nothing else on it. So yeah, luminous putty primer. I love that. So hopefully if that really works as a good base for my foundation, then we're on to a winner. A winner! In my foundation, so I've picked up yeah, I've picked up the Flawless Satin Foundation in Linen. 
Um, I have already opened this. I think it may be a bit too dark in which, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just testing the texture, etc., and wearability of it. Um, so as I know it's gonna be a bit dark, I may mix it in with some of the concealer that I bought as well, but we'll see how it goes anyway. It's not, not too bad a color. So I use my doll 10 in number, so it's doll 10 in number six. This is my foundation brush. A lot of people would think that this was a bit too big for a foundation brush. I love a dense, soft foundation brush. It is my favorite. so I'll go in normally just around here. Oh, actually, oh, that's nice. Denying that something has changed. You're blaming me to complicate that's a really good color match as well so there you go it it does oxidize because clearly that is not as dark on the skin as it is in the bottle or when it comes out so that would be called oxidizing I'm happy I am happy with that base that's lovely right so now I've done my foundation blah 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 I'm pretty quick when I do my makeup anyway. I'll just take off the remnants off my hand. This is new in. This is called Hydrating Camo Concealer. I got it in peach, I believe. Yeah, medium peach. Tell you why? Because if you do this, if you look at yourself in the mirror and you look almost over your nose as if you're wearing glasses, you'll be able to see these much darker spaces here. For me, peach really, really helps with those. And Again, when you're applying concealer, always look at your face like this. You'll see they kind of disappear a bit like this. But then when you do that, they come back. So that was what I was taught, so just passing it on. Right, let's get this out. This is, camo concealer is a little bit scary. Um, but apparently it's supposed to be super lightweight. It's full coverage, satin, so it's not matte, thankfully. I cannot stand it when you've got that heaviness around your eye. Use the wand to apply the concealer to desired areas. We know how to do that. And gently pat with your finger or a sponge. In this instance, I may use one of my uh, brushes. But anyway, here we go. This is it in medium peach. And massive brush, or spoolie, or what people call them. Now, I just tend to go into those areas that are dark. That's it, and right in there as well. Not too heavy. You don't need a lot, you know, you just need to concentrate on the areas where, where you get the darkness. Right, so I just slowly pat it. I don't know if you're getting the full effect, but that is a really lovely concealer. Can you not just see how that's completely taken away those dark areas? I mean, you're still gonna see a little bit down there. Let me just try, I'm gonna put, cause I'm seeing two different mirrors here. Um, let me just see if I can touch those bits up. Now, I don't know if you're seeing that, but that's pretty amazing. That's actually better than the current e.l.f. concealer that I'm using, which is... Oh, it is also the camo concealer. Interesting. Right, so the one I've just used is the hydrating, hydrating camo concealer in medium peach, which is what I'm wearing at the moment which is bloody brilliant, if I don't say so myself. This is, which is what I use normally, is the 16 hour camo concealer. This is quite thick, um, so I'm assuming, yeah, it's a much thicker consistency, and actually it's not in the peach, so loving that. That is amazeballs. Um, hydrating camo concealer. Yes, please, glad I got that one. So I did it in the medium peach. Now the other places that I can obviously apply concealer to are, I can do little spots around here, 
my chin. And I'll get those in now. Love that. Wow. I am really impressed. Now, I don't do spot concealing. I just don't see the point in it. You know, you might be noticing that and that. It's your skin, let some of it come through, that's what I say. Right, now, um, I don't usually use a powder, but I did pick up the e.l.f. Sheer Pressed Powder. Um, I'm gonna go over lightly under my eyes and areas where I've added the concealer and any other shiny shiny parts of the face. Um, and I'll be going, I'll be going over with the Real Techniques 400 brush. That's lush. That is a really, really lovely packaging. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. So, I haven't finished my makeup, but I'm going to finish my base. Let's give this a go. It's a nice color. I went for medium, so now I'm only gonna lightly tap into here because I just don't wanna, I don't know how thick it is. Now, just before you apply your powder under your eyes, because this is your most creasy area, just make sure that all of the lines Try not to blink before you put it on. Ah, that's gorgeous. Really chuffed with that. I'm not going to have too much powder because I do like to still keep a little bit of luminosity as they call it. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with bronzer. Um, right, so this is the bronzer poudre bronzant in warm. Let's open it up. There you go, a little bit of e.l.f. packaging there. Um, opens up like that. Oh, bye then. Good to know anyway that it's got a protective coat. Oh, I love the bronzer side of it. You've obviously got the added highlights and then you've got a more kind of ashy tone here, which I may avoid uh, or use as part of an eyeshadow. But yeah, I'm loving those three. So I'm gonna go over with my bronzer brush seems quite pigmented and it hasn't got a lot of fall, which is good. A lot of these powders have a lot of fall. It's normally to do with the amount of mica in it or mica or however, however it's pronounced. Right. Oh, lovely. Now everyone has their own technique, okay? <laughs> I, um, I have my own technique with all of these. Right, now, what, first thing I would say is it's quite a ready bronze, um, which would kind of probably interfere with my blusher because I'd like to put some blusher on afterwards. But as a pigment goes, it's pretty effective um, and it's you can build it. As you can see, you can actually build it. Now in the, I always go up into the temple. Um, it's funny because in the camera here, it's quite dark. Generally, I look a lot darker. Oh, the light changed then. But um, yeah, and then in, there you go. And then in, uh, in my mirror, it doesn't look as dark. And that's really pretty. Yep, that's really pretty. I like that. I always do a little bit of bronzer just on the top of my nose. To make it look like you know I've caught it that it's a real bronzy tan so I'm actually going to now I've done my bronzer I'm going to use a, a little bit of rouge on my cheeks you know I'm only concentrating on the apples of my cheeks so that's fine um, a lot of people go oh my god you can't put a liquid on top of a powder well, it's not really a liquid and uh, get over yourself so <laughs> Right, this is in Glimmering Guava. Now, they did have, I think it's got about five or six of these. I'm gonna pop a picture anyway to the side. They have lots and lots of different colors of blushes for all different skin tones. You take the lid off and it is literally like that. Now, what I probably would do is rub my finger on it and then just concentrate on there. But what shall I do? Yeah, I will do that. I don't wanna mess this up. So I give myself a little smile just to remember where, where my cheek is. I apply it with one finger and rub it in with the other. So there you go. Oh, that's lovely. Apply it with one finger and then 
and rub into the other. It's really effective. Now, because it's called, what's it called? A multi, it's called a multi-stick. They suggest that you can also use this um, as a lip balm, lipstick, lip colour. Um, so I'm not going to use it in this um, makeup review because I do have products. I have products for my lips as well, which I want to trial. Um, but I would definitely put that colour onto my lips. That's gorgeous. I'm really chuffed with that. And I, I think that was like three pounds. Yes, here we go. So this is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Let's give this a go. Um, I'm a bit fussy with the colour that I put onto my brows because I don't like it to have any warmth because I'm naturally quite ashy. Not that you know what my natural hair colour is these days. Um, but I like, I don't like warm eyebrows. I'm sure you'll probably understand what I mean by that. But um, yeah, I like quite an ashy tone. So I went for taupe. I don't know if that's the right one, but never heard of, well, I have heard of taupe, but only in sofa colours. Um, right, so that is the product. You've got the brush at the end, which is great. I mean, I use these all the time. Oh, that's quite a nice one, actually. Always just brush through first. Now, what I tend to do is dye my eyebrows probably every five weeks, four or five weeks. Um, I like my eyebrows to be darker than my hair, as you've probably noticed. Um, I don't know if you can also see, but I, <laughs> I do have a few grey eyebrows. Oh my god! Isn't it awful? Yeah, so if you, I get a few uh, grey eyebrows, and so I always dye those away. I've managed to find a really good tint that can get rid of those. So, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply... Oh, it's a twisty up. I'm going to apply this. Oh, brilliant. It is ashy, so if you're looking for an ashy brown, then this is your this is your lady. Right, I'm gonna give it a go, and I'll put you in fast forward now, because otherwise I'll be here for a lifetime. <laughs> pleasantly surprised at that. What I will say is it's quite waxy, um, which is actually a really good thing. So when I start, when I press, started pressing it into the eyebrow, um, I thought, oh God, it's, you know, it's got a bit of pull here, um, which you don't really want, well, not with eyeliner or lip, lip liner. You don't want that pull. You want it just to be able to come straight off. But actually, I know this is going to stay and it's it, it actually, it just worked really well. Once it warmed up as well, as you can tell, it's actually worked brilliantly. Um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. I usually use um, a liquid, a liquid one that comes like on a, I don't know, like a little paintbrush. And I normally do my eyebrows that way, but that was super quick. And they look a lot darker, in, they look a lot darker in this than they do in my thingy, but um, I'm really chuffed with that. I probably, Maybe go a little bit darker down here. But you know, you can just keep going, can't you? But no, I'm really chuffed with that. Right, so eyebrows done. Right, this is an item which I am quite um, intrigued about. Always thought about getting an eyeshadow primer and I never have, and I'm 39 years old. But I got one and it's cheap as chips. And um, as I'm going to be applying some eyeshadow, I thought, well, let's do it properly, Emily. Let's do it properly. So, uh, actually, very similar to the sealer that I used earlier. Right, so I'm assuming that I just, do I just brush it on? I've never used eyeshadow primer in my life. Whilst I'm letting that sit, I am going to try a highlighter. Love a highlighter. Right, so this is new in. This is called the Multi-Dimensional Face and Body Shimmer. So let's give it a go. I don't know if you can see, but there's lots and lots of little kind of, um, well, it's quite textured is what I'm trying to say. Um, it doesn't look like it's milled very finely. 
and I really hope it hasn't got lots of big pieces of glitter, shimmer, I'm not into that. I like a more fine highlighter, but we will soon find out. The other, the other highlighter that I also bought was this one, baked highlighter. Um, that anything that has baked in the title, I'm all over it because I just think, oh, it's been nicely compressed and been nicely finely milled and it should be quite, you know, a subtle sheen on the skin. So, and it normally is the case. Um, goodness. Um, so I'm gonna give that a go afterwards. I might even use it on my eyes as well, but let's give this one a go. This has been a new product literally only in the last couple of weeks for ELF. So I'm excited to try this. So, opens up like this, like so. Okay, Ooh, hello. Right, let's give it a little bit of a... It feels like, it feels like that putty stuff. It feels quite serum -y. It doesn't feel like powder. It feels quite, ooh, that, this could be, but it, it has got an element of pink to it. I'll just... <laughs> Now, can I build it? That's the question. It's a lot more pinky than highlighters that I'm used to wearing, but actually, I really like it. As I turn my face, you can actually see, can't you? I, it almost looks a bit kind of wet. Some people like that, I quite like that. I'm really impressed with that. Well done, Elf. I'm really, I, this is, this is, I've got some really, really cool products for my, uh, for my mate. And we ha we're not even halfway there. Jeez Louise, guys. Right, so, so this is the Transparent Mascara, Clear Brow and Lash Mascara, again, I keep saying to myself, I must get some of this stuff because I need my eyebrows to set. I don't know if you've seen it in some of my videos. I'm like, you know, I will look it back and I'm like, oh, I've got like a two hairs. You probably don't notice, but you know, you scrutinize yourself, don't you? Um, so I've got one now. Let's hope it works. Let's hope this is as good as all the others um, are being right. So, oh look, okay, so. They're not two different ends, as in they're not two different products. One is for brow and one is for lash. So you don't get it all muddled up. Perfect. Yeah, God, you wouldn't want to have like black brows. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna quickly uh, set my eyebrows. What the hell? Um, right, so let's do my brow. So my eye primer has set. I don't even know if it needed to set, so. Now these are called, what are they called? Bite size eyeshadows. They have got like a massive range of different colored quads. Um, I went for a kind of autumny warm look. So this is actually in rose water. So I thought that's pretty cute. Three quid, I think, three pounds. So it, it's just good when they're cheap like that because it just means that, you know, you're not having to buy a massive palette that actually half of the colours you don't even use. So that's the quad. Okay, so I'd use that one as my base. And then I would bleed in from that to that, from the outer to the inner. So we'll give that a go. A couple hundred miles away Denying that something has changed You're blaming me to complicate But I will never say the same Not hugely impressed by that, I must say. So, what a shame. We're gonna have to try the baked highlighter. So this is your baked highlighter. This is in Moonlight Pearls. I love baked. Ooh. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah. 
that's what we call a highlighter. Right, so on that note, I would come in with one of my small eyeliner brushes. <laughs> That is so much poppier. Love that. Right, I'm gonna use that on my face as well. Right, love that. Baked highlighter, can't go wrong with a baked highlighter. Right, because my eyes are looking a bit pinny now, let's try the e.l.f. mascara. So I went for this mascara because it's a three in one. It's very black. I always have to go for a very black mascara. My eyelashes are naturally really and quite wispy, so I need a really, really good thick black mascara. Okay, so I also like this because if you see at the top, you've got that little bit at the edge, at the very top, that can do the outer edges and potentially the inner edges as well. So let's give this one a go. There you go. Standard packaging, nothing really to write home about. Three in the one on the back. Oh, okay, well, it's quite a long, it's quite a long brush. Right, we'll give it a go. really works really nicely I hope you I hope you can actually see because like, of all the light I'm really struggling to know what you're seeing but all I can say is from an honest point of view it's brilliant um, I love the length of the brush I love the big uh, bulbousy ball at the end <laughs> because um, that way you can really kind of get you can almost lift them up at the end as well you know and get these last bits right in here um, and right in there as well. So yeah, really chuffed with that. Also, this end is so good for doing underneath the eyes. Wow. That was cheap as chips as well and probably was free because I think it's like the cheapest item is free. So we're doing good guys. We're doing good, right, so. So on to lips. This is the lipstick that I chose and I chose in creme. Um, I do like a pale lip. I don't have much lips, <laughs> as you can tell, and I don't tend to lip line. So this is in creme. It is very creamy. It's a nice consistency. It doesn't feel like it's gonna dry up. Um, yes, it's quite waxy which is nice because sometimes you get the creamy lipsticks that are actually creamy that will literally just come off within a few minutes or as soon as you've had something to eat. Mmm, I do like that. That's really nice. Um, but what I did get, because I knew it was going to be a little bit flat, is one of their new lip lacquers in Fantasy. So, oh, UPS man's just turned up at the wrong time. So that comes out in a spoolie like that. Right, what I might do is just go in with a little bit more blusher, or am I, am I gonna overdo it? Mm. No, let's go in with a little bit more of this multifunctional stick before Mr. UPS man comes. Brilliant, I'm so chuffed, that's amazing. I've really, really enjoyed doing this. Um, obviously this is my first makeup, uh, you know, full review, so the lighting might not be amazing, um, but hopefully what I'm saying, you'll be able to grasp whether it's a good product or not and get yourself down to Superdrug. It's three for two, so get down there. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna do a split screen now so you can see my, my, you know, pretty plain face with no makeup and my face afterwards. And uh, I'll also, I might as well just take my hair off, um, hair thing off as well. There you go. Ta-da! Check you next week. Bye! Chasing the easy life